Hello everybody! Got another Black 2 or White 2 battle here it, against Nice Storm ZX. It's an NU battle and yeah, I'm using a pretty d new team in the fact that I've not really used many of the... Or I've, I, I've not really used Coughing and Dragonair before, but yeah, this team has mostly been about phasing, or rather two Pokemon are rather phasing, like my Grumpig and my Dragonair are the phases, while my Pinsir is kind of a suicide stealth rocker upper that has the Moxie, because that's legal with the, with stealth rocks now, which is nice, and it's legal in general because it's been released, and yeah, if I, get, if I get a kill on the opposing Pokemon without dying first, then I can get a Moxie boost and go from there, seeing as Pinsir's actually quite fast in the NU tier, but other... Pokemon might have priority, and there's always the Superior, which is really fast, and Scarfers, and oh, the Superior is a bit of a nightmare. So mainly because of my own doing, because I kind of let it set up on me, and oh, I, I mispredicted a lot around that. But we'll get there in a second. This Altaria set up in my face while I'm just trying to Stone Edge him with the Pincer, being like, "Come on, come on, you know, Stone Edge is bound to get a crit." Someday, I mean, Stone Edge has got a high base crit ratio or something, but no, at, at least I hit them. At least I hit them, so that's that, that's fair enough. But I'd rather have got at least a crit somewhere. That means that you know that would be nice because you know, ah, oh, but whatever. He's gonna go for the plus two Dragon Claw. Gonna do not a lot considering it's at plus two, which shows how. Pathetic Altaria is uh, on the physical side. I mean, um, to be honest, Pierre. I nearly called him Paris. Pins has actually pretty good defences, so or rather, ba uh, hello, uh, rather good physical defence. Uh, that was MBZ's uh, one of MBZ's videos, which I accidentally maximised, by the way. But anyway, the first time I narrated this, it kind of went out of sync. So hopefully, it doesn't go out of sync. Please, hope to God, it doesn't go out of sync. But anyway. Could bring Grumpig, one of my phases. Gonna go for the Whirlwind. I originally made this set for Black and White 1, but Heal Bell and Whirlwind weren't really compatible together because Whirlwind was a 5th gen egg move and uh, Heal Bell was 4th gen egg, uh, fourth gen move tutor. But now, Black 2, the fucking saviour of Pokemon 5th gen, has come along, given everyone new moves and yeah. I don't know why I did a really long yay, but anyway, this is the bit where I'm a dumbass and let Superior set up because I bring in Doggars D. Oh no, I'm not gonna do the song because that's gonna like you know make me embarrass. Yeah, it's gonna embarrass me quite frankly. So yeah, I'm gonna go for the Sludge Wave on why the absolute fuck don't I have clear fucking smog on coughing? Why? Why did I put Sludge Wave? Oh, I was hoping for some poison hacks. I don't get any. Now I really should have gone for the. I really should have gone for a clear smog because I do have the spa, the spike to go with it, which I'd go for now just to lower the PP. Or because I thought he was going to go for a move like Dragon Balls, and I want to lower the PP of his attacking moves. Now I should have gone for the clear smog because you know got clear smog because clear smog would have got rid of this stat boosts while spike would have got like lowered the pp of the attacking moves so i thought that was a pretty decent sort of set and i've only just thought of that right now but no at the time of making the set i thought no we're gonna give it a slush wave because i'm a knobhead but anyway he's gonna drag and tell me around a bit and i'm gonna bring in Valsa. he the annoying thing is that superior was faster than everything on my team and that means that he was faster than my phases so he can get his dragon tail faster than my phases. He can phase me out before I can phase it out. And I was like, Nice Storm ZX has a really good habit of trolling the fuck out of me with a annoying set. I mean, in RU, he's got Haxapeed, which is a Scolipede, which is like, you know, flinchy to death and attract. And when I saw this superior in team preview, I was like, no, don't you have attract? Don't you have attract? Because you will glare me, attract me. I don't know if you have a move that can confuse me, but you will do it and you will annoy the fuck out of me. But no, thank God it wasn't. But even more annoyingly, it was a massive setup, uh, which doesn't really do damage. And if he had the stealth drops up, this would have been game over from the start for me. And oh, anyway, I missed the first Widow Wisp on coughing. I was like, no. And I'm gonna mispredict here as well. I went for the psychic here, thinking, oh, he's just gonna go for the Giga Dra the Drain. Oh. The, this is what happens when you narrate late at night. Jesus Christ, I really should stop doing that. But anyway, he's gonna go for the Giga Drain. Well, I thought he was gonna go for the Dragon Tail, so that's why I went for the psychic, thinking, crit? No. Um, special defense drop? No. Thank you, game. <laughs> oh! 
God, Pokemon's infuriating. And you think life's infuriating. Wait until you play Pokemon. But yeah, now he's going to Dragon Tail when I think, no, he's going to kill me off the Giga Drain. I can live that. No, he's going to Dragon Tail me out uh, while I go for the Whirlwind. So he brings in Volley Bear, which is going to activate, not Volley Bear, uh, Ursa Ring, which is going to activate my Toxic Orb. And I was like, yeah, I'm faster. Quick Drain, Quick Drain, Quick Feet. It turns out he's not because Tissapir is so fast, it's unbelievable. And Ursa Ring, despite being jolly max speed with Quick Fleet, it's not fast enough. And I'm going to go for a massive powered facade. I do have the Fire Punch, but that wouldn't have actually done it as much because facade boost is about 140. With Stab, that's about 210, I think. While Fire Punch is 150 on a super effective move. So it wasn't really, that's mainly for like Bug Steals, Grass Steals, you know, people that, you know, Grass Bug, people that ultra die from it basically so he's gonna come up with a giga drain get health back and that's really this this oh, this fucking superior Dogaz is my only hope in actually trolling the fuck out of this thing because i know that i resist his giga drain it does a decent amount of damage but evie light thank you for the evie light is gonna help me and this giga drain is i mean the spite is also gonna help me by reducing the giga drain um by reducing the giga drains pp because big both uh, Dragon Tail and Giga Drain are pretty. I mean, they've got 16 PP, and Spite kind of cuts the PP by like four each time. So that's eight Spites, and then he can't really attack me. So I was thinking, I need Coughing. Coughing was the MVP for me in this match. He did so well. If only I put Clear Smog on it, then I could have just. Then I could have been fucking dandy in this game. But no, I'm such a noob. Why do I play this game? I mean, yeah, this this match has basically been me slagging myself off, only. Yeah, hopefully you're all enjoying it. And this match, I uploaded this match mainly because to showcase uh, his uh, superior set. I know it's a gimmick, but it worked out really well. And some gimmicks don't work. And he sometimes he said to me, sometimes they don't work. Sometimes it does work. And in this case, it does work mainly because I kind of let him set up. And I suppose. Not because it wasn't particular, it wasn't completely my fault. I mean, he was like going, "Oh yeah, this guy's gonna switch out, and I'm gonna predict him to go for the you know phasing moves." Well, I completely over, I completely um, get out predicted as it were. So that was kind of a good, good, good on him. So I'm just gonna go for the spot. <laughs> Pardon me, Dogars, man of the match for me. Gonna go for another spike. Gonna lower his dragon tails. I'm thinking he can't have many dragon tails and giga chains, and he's gonna knock me out into my dragon air now. I don't know what I did. I think I predicted him to go for another Dragon Tail, failing, you know, I think he maybe has one more. So that's why I went for Waterfall. Try and get a flinch. Just try. Be a jammy little fuck and get a flinch. Mm, there he goes first because he goes for the Giga Drain. Now I'm thinking I can definitely live another Giga Drain. And even if he does go for the Dragon Tail, just in case he does have some left, I'll rest off, get to about full HP, and then I'll have my Marvel Scale activated. And then we'll go from there. But he's going to go for another Giga Drain. Get, take me to about red. Gonna go for the rest, and now my Marvel Scale is activated, so Dragon Tail's gonna do absolutely nothing. I've got max special defense, near max special defense, and max HP, so Giga Drains aren't really doing as much as it should, because Superior isn't really great offensively. But anyway, that tells me that he might have ran out of attacking moves, so I was like, yes, but he's gonna bring out Caracoster, and I was like, no. But then I thought, well, Sleep Talk, I might get lucky. So I go for the Sleep Talk, as I was gonna do anyway, get the Waterfall, I was like, mm. I'd rather have got Dragon Tail. But yeah, I've got another turn of sleep, so I can get like a rest talk that I'd rather sleep talk off. Well, he's going to the Shell Smash, and I was like, oh, I really do need a. Oh, I really do need a sleep talking boosted Dragon Tail nonsense, whatever I'm on about. So I was like, fast asleep, go for the sleep talk, and I was like, come on. Get Dragon Tail. No, don't get rest, you slut! I get rest, which is annoying. So. I you know I can definitely live a hit because I have like Evie Light and the Marble Scale and yeah he's gonna go for the Rock Slide and get that flinch. Which completely seals a deal. That means I'm completely I can't do anything. He's gonna get a crit just to rub fucking knobheads in the runes. That doesn't make any sense. But yeah, I I don't really know. <laughs> I knew I could live the first because of Marble Scale, but thank you to Marble Scale being disactivated because he had the Oh, uh, what did he have? Because, you know, no status, that means no defense boost. I know I, was, I don't really know that that crit mattered. But it was still an annoying sight, especially after I called that flinch. But whatever. Dogars is going to live. No, sorry. Coughing is going to live a war fall like an absolute beast it is. going to go for pain split. Mm, doesn't really do that much. And he's going to take it out. And then he's going to take out moon. Chaps, chaps on the moon. Burberry spaceship. Chaps on the moon. So, yeah. That was a 6-0. So, I kind of lost quite badly, as it were. But... I think it was a pretty good battle. So that's
that's why I uploaded it. And yeah, thank you all for watching, everyone. It's been a pleasure, as per usual. Comment, like, subscribe if you want to. And obviously, go and check out him. He's got pretty cool sets. Uh, comment, like, subscribe to Nightstorm. Uh, I really do recommend it, actually. He's a sound guy. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. I've already said that. You know me. I do that so many times. I say comment, like, subscribe like five billion times throughout the battle. So I'm just going to say it again. Comment, because I like it in the comments. Like, because I love the like ratings. Going, Whoa, because... It's feel wanted and loved, and it really does help the channel, so yeah. And also sub talking of helping channels, because that will make me happy face, and you'll see more content. So, yeah, probably you guys aren't going to be uh, watching this end bit, because you probably thought 10 minutes is so long. See, so, yeah, I understand that. But yeah, thank you all for watching, and goodbye.